Hey, what's up everybody? Day 81, 100 days to Havana. Yeah, I, uh, I had to come outside. I was just sitting in my cubicle and uh, just so excited. We got our hotel booked last night, uh, getting ready to kind of hook up and meet some new people, uh, go to a new place, go on a new ship. Uh, oh, I, I can't wait. But uh, anyways, I guess we got to get through a few more weeks of work and uh, those kind of things. But I uh, just want to stop in, say good morning, and uh, see what you guys are up to. Hope you're having a good Thursday, and uh, yeah, we'll check back in with you later. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is day 81 of our 100 days to Havana. Can you believe it? We are only 19 days away. Well, hello, Jennifer. Well, hello, Tony. How was your day? It was good. Did you get wet outside? Yeah, it's a little rainy out, but we'll take the rain, so. Yeah, I guess uh, when I went out, I was like, oh, this is bad, but I know there's people that got it worse, so. Uh, That's right. Try to keep it in perspective, but. Uh, well, and our friends in Tennessee and Kentucky are getting it bad. Yeah. And Mississippi. Be safe out there, people. Yes, please. Where's my dinner? It's right here. <laughs> There's nothing here. Uh, we're just oh. going to have some Chinese. Yes. It's been a couple weeks since we had the Chinese, I think. It is. So what do we got tonight? Uh, sesame and General So's chicken. Sesame and General mm -hmm. So's. For dinner and lunch. Yeah. Well, it looks good. <laughs> Let's eat. You want to eat? I do. Let's, Let's eat. eat. Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? It is the evening of day 81, 100 days to Havana. What? 19 more days. 19 more days! It's crazy. So exciting. Yeah. So uh, we figured tonight we'd just give you a short update on uh, what's been going on from our uh, cruise preparation. Mm-hmm. Uh, so last night after we spoke to you guys, we were able to book our uh, hotel. Yay! Which is exciting down mm -hmm. there in Tampa. And then four miles from port. Four miles. Yeah, so the the hotel that we're staying at has a park and stay, but it's like only half a park and stay. Yeah, it's strange. So yeah, so we, we've got a room. Uh, we have uh, parking for our car for the duration of the cruise. And then we have a shuttle ride to the terminal, but mm -hmm. they don't pick you up when you get back. Yeah. But you don't pay for the parking on your car either. Yeah, it's a really good deal. So we, yeah. uh, you know, we're getting a room and four or four days of parking for eighty five bucks. Yeah, that's pretty. That's really good. Yeah, because yeah, because in Mobile, I think we paid like one forty, one fifty, something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, but yeah, so but we got they picked a, us up and um, drove us as well. Yeah, we had shuttle back and forth, mm -hmm. but I think they've got like Uber and stuff like that yeah. in uh, mm -hmm. Tampa. Mm -hmm. We might get lost and end up at that Hard Rock Casino for a few hours. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> We're not. They might have a craps table. I don't know. They have a great craps table. Oh, no, they don't. Remember, it's just it's uh, digital, but yeah, it's digital. No, no, like they had the uh, last time we were there, they had it was like a, one of those old pop o matic games. Oh yeah, that's right. I love yeah, those. Yeah, so it's digital for yes. the layout, but uh, that's what I played in Vegas. Remember the, the, the pop o matic? Like, yes, sorry. I loved it. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, for those of you that gamble, what it, what's your uh, what's your poison of choice? So I love the slots, of course. Yeah. And it's weird because um, I probably would love craps, but I do not like the pressure of having to roll the dice and make the right bets. So that's why I liked the craps on like a slot machine layout. Yeah. Yeah, because you could just sit there and go at your own pace. And right. I like the craps. I know you do. I and like, you do so well at the craps. I like to play a little poker. Mm-hmm. But slots are fun, too, though, just to kill some time. And I like the ones that have the mini games. Yeah. I mean, those are the ones that I search out in the rooms. Yeah. And then I just play my pennies. Yeah. The penny slots. I know I'm never going to make any money, but they're so much fun. Are you going to gamble on the paradise? Yeah. 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 Is that even a question? <laughs> So what else did we do? Uh, we did our online check-in. Mm -hmm. uh, that went pretty smooth. So we both have passports now, which I think we have to have them anyways for Cuba. For Cuba, yeah. Uh, the only thing that was out of the ordinary is we had to print out um, travel affidavits going to Cuba. Uh, we didn't have to do that with the uh, Cozumel. No, I think that has to do with our visa. Yep. So that's a, a, a for anybody that is going to be traveling to Cuba... They um, also charge you, it'll be on your sale and sign, um, $75 each for a visa. Yeah. 
But they pull the visas and stuff, so... They take care of all that for you. Right. Yeah, just give it to you as you get off. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Uh, and then we had our choice of check-in time. So we've only done Faster the Fun. Mm-hmm. So uh, there was a little bit of discussion tonight on the La Lido Loca Cruising community uh, as to... Uh, you know, do the check-in times. If you're not, if you don't have priority, like faster the fun, or if you're not, uh, whatever diamond or platinum, you know, do you have a? Does the choice for when you can check in change, or is it a first come first serve? So, if anybody knows that, if you could leave a comment below, uh, mm-hmm. that'd be helpful. But we we only know faster the fun, so I'm, right. I'm not sure. So we were able to get a eleven o'clock check, eleven to eleven thirty. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna be on Alito pretty soon. The other thing we're going to try to do, uh, we're going to take the advice of uh, our friends, the shows, and try to uh, carry on all of our luggage. I know. The shows, we're going to show you that maybe we can do that. The question that I had that I guess we should ask them or anybody out there, um, I wonder, do you guys have those carry-ons that have four wheels on it? That seems like that would be easier than the two-wheel old school deal we got. Yeah, and I think they're a little bigger. Yeah, that's what we need to look up is uh, how big of a carry-on you can have. Yeah. So, but hey, that's our Cuba update. Uh, we're gonna make it short and sweet tonight. Gonna slide on into the weekend. We both have a three-day weekend, so, which is pretty nice. So exciting! And uh, I, I would assume that a lot of folks do. So if you're getting ready for your Labor Day weekend, I hope it's going good. Mm-hmm. Uh, we continue to think about the folks that have challenges in Houston and Galveston, and absolutely. Uh, uh, yeah, anything you can do, make sure you do that. And uh, yeah, just it's. You know, you just sometimes you sometimes it takes tragedy to make you realize how fortunate you are, and right. um, so yeah, we're fairly fortunate. And there are those those folks out there that that aren't right now. So uh, make sure you think about them. Yeah. So, but anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you like to hear about all this cruise and stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're if you're on the social media platforms, that's what I like to call them. Uh, on Twitter and Instagram. Yes. At La Lita Loca. At La Lita Loca. I was going to say we're on Snapchat, but our, our kids told us we couldn't be on Snapchat. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why either. I don't know what that means. Um, and uh, if you haven't yet, go on over to Facebook to the La Lita Loca cruising community. That's really the interactive uh, part of uh, mm-hmm. of this conversation. Uh, a lot of cool people over there talking cruising and... Uh, Shoot, I think they answer questions for us on a daily basis, Absolutely. which is awesome. Because uh, we kind—that's what a community is all about, right? We're cruise newbies. That's right. Yeah, we uh, we got experience in bringing the fun, but we don't we don't have a ton <laughs> of cruise experience, so we're learning. But uh, hope you guys are doing good. We appreciate you stopping by and watching us, taking time out of your day to spend some time with us, and uh, we sure do appreciate it. And uh, hope you're doing good. And uh, yeah, I guess I guess we're out of here. We'll see you on the Lido. Hey, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye. Thank you.